Hello everyone, my name is Molly Horrigan. I am a fifth semester master's in public health student here at the University of New England. A little bit about myself, I am from a rural farm town here in upstate New York called Memphis, New York, um, where my family actually owns a dairy farm. And as you can see in the picture, um, it's a very podunk little town, but it's my home and I love it. Um, I'm also a basketball player. I've been playing basketball since I was five years old and it has afforded a lot of opportunities to me in my life and i'm very grateful for the sport um i also really enjoy helping other people i've been involved in various nonprofit organizations throughout my life and different service opportunities and i really enjoy helping people and helping people help themselves so service is a big part of my life um, my educational background i went to a very small public high school here in my hometown called Jordan Elbridge uh, High School. And I graduated with about 100 people, which some might think is a bad thing, but I really enjoyed it because I, I got to know everyone and I knew everyone's families and we really depended on each other and, and had a very strong, tight-knit community. Um, from there, I went to the College of the Holy Cross in Worcester, Massachusetts where I got to play division one basketball for four years. Um, and I honestly had never heard of Holy Cross being from a small farm town here in upstate New York. I had no idea what Holy Cross was or what Worcester, Massachusetts was. Um, but I really, really loved the basketball coaches there. They built this program and place importance on service and giving back to others. And that really, uh, resonated with me and it pushed me to get my master's degree here at University of New England and it has also pushed me to pursue uh, medical school someday. Um, the College of the Holy Cross has given me a lot of opportunities and I'm very thankful for them. Um, last winter I actually took an EMT certification course through SUNY Upstate which is the medical university here in Syracuse um, and I've been doing that ever since. So some other jobs that I've had. Um, I have worked on my family dairy farm my entire life. And I still do. I, I help out when I can. Um, something that I got to do in college was called Working for Worcester. Um, which is a nonprofit organization that was actually started by two Holy Cross students. Um, and basically we go out into the community and we build playgrounds and basketball courts and dance studios and all sorts of other different recreational infrastructure across the city of Worcester in one big service day. And through that, I had the best time. Um, I got to do this while I was playing basketball and while I was pursuing a biology degree. Um, so it was crazy and it was busy and it was fun, um, but it also tied me to the city of Worcester. Um, I made a lot of great connections in the city of Worcester and I got immersed in the community and um, that allowed me the opportunity to get a job after graduation, which was good, um, with this nonprofit organization called Dismas House of Massachusetts, which is a halfway housing program for formerly incarcerated men and men coming out of detox programs, um, homeless men, men just needing a place to transition and to get back on their feet. I had no intentions of working for some sort of organization like this after I graduated college. Um, I thought I would go straight through to medical school, but I'm so glad that I, I did this. I worked for Dismas House for almost two years after graduation from college, and I got to help people get back on their feet um, through firsthand exposures. Um, you know, some of these guys are still some of my best friends. They are truly, they have inspirational stories and I learned a lot from them. And I'm very fortunate for Holy Cross and for working for Worcester t for tying me to this organization. Um, so since that time, I have moved back home here, which I'm very happy to be back home. Um, and I've started working for a tissue bank here in Syracuse called Musculoskeletal Transplant Foundation, which is very cool because I get to use my biology degree. Um, and I'm uh, 
recovering tissue and placenta and all sorts of different uh, musculoskeletal connective tissues from um, organ donors, which is really, really important work and it's very rewarding. It can be very dark and dismal at times because unfortunately people who pass away, of course, but it is very, very good knowing that I'm, I'm being helpful f for someone in the future. Um, I am an EMT at Syracuse University, which is really cool. I get to be an EMT for basketball games and football games, which is fun. And I actually am a basketball coach at my high school, which is awesome because I, I love coaching basketball. It's a really big part of my life and it has brought me to this point where I'm pursuing my, my master's degree. So basketball is great. Uh, my future. I don't know what that holds. I do know that I want to stay here in central New York. I love this region. I love my home. I love my family. And I want to stay here. I definitely want to continue working as an EMT. It's a great part-time job that I can do on the side. And it's really rewarding. And it's high-paced. And it's fun. And every day is different. So I would like to continue doing that. I do know that I want to continue coaching basketball. Um, basketball has given me so much and I want to do the same for other young girls. Um, as far as my public health career, I'm not really sure if I want to do more social work like I did with Dismas House, or if I would like to work more at the government level with the health department here in Central New York. Um, but I have time to figure that out, and pursuing my master's degree is helping me. So thank you very much. I'm looking forward to this course with all of you.